What constitutes good advice about where you should go depends quite a lot on where you're coming from. This is why the same motivational advice doesn't work for everyone. If you're suicidal, you may need to hear a message of optimism or self-acceptance. And if you're a narcissistic type of individual who believes they're perfect despite obvious flaws, then you may need a stern warning about needing to work harder in order to improve. Some people need encouragement and some people need a reality check. Most of us could use a whole lot of both. Respect must be earned. Responsibility, too, must be earned. This isn't simply an eye-for-an-eye -eye philosophy. It's just practicality. It's how the world works. An eye-for-an-eye -eye may make the whole world blind, but showing responsibility to people who are fundamentally irresponsible that makes the whole world burn. The goal of entertainment is simple. It's there to entertain people. That's why I understand it. Art is more complicated. Is art about self-expression or the reaction of the audience? Is it about the technique of the artist? or the enjoyment that people get from his work. I ask myself, is art about the process of creation or the result? And is there a good way to quantify it, to determine its value in a way that everyone can understand? I've noticed that many people cling to the idea of just being themselves as a way of avoiding having to improve. They see just being themselves as something noble or virtuous. But this never really made much sense to me, for the simple reason that we're all going to change anyway. Change is inevitable. It's the only constant. You are going to change. So the only real question is, are you going to control how that change happens? Or are you just going to let it happen to you? Self-improvement has an addictive quality to it, but it just may be one of the most beneficial addictions one can have. By definition, if it ever became detrimental or malproductive, then that means you're doing it wrong. You are your most powerful tool and most valuable asset, so it only makes sense to invest quite a lot of time and effort into yourself. At first, self-improvement may seem impossible to start, but after a while, it'll seem impossible to stop. It's best to approach things with a sense of curiosity, rather than to just assume that you know. Curiosity and inquisitiveness will lead you to correct answers and greater understanding, while assumption is just the mother of all screw-ups. The term laser focus is apt. It's light's nature to disperse, to spread chaotically. And much like human focus, light is often not very powerful. Lasers are different for the very reason that they don't act the way that light normally does. It's light which has been focused into a beam, made to amplified and more coherent. And it's this artificial augmentation that makes lasers special and useful. Light may naturally have a short attention span, but lasers don't get distracted. Our fascination with mystery is a bit of a contradiction. For mystery to be interesting, we first have to notice it. It has to catch our attention to draw us in. 
but mystery, almost by definition, involves something obscured, concealed, and unknown. This means that some of the deepest and compelling mysteries, the most intriguing places and events and people, are probably things that we never really notice at all. So, what are your chances of success? Well, what are your chances of becoming a rock star? Can you play the guitar and sing? If you can, then your chances are better than someone who can't. Are you in a band? Have you performed live shows? Have you released any music? Then your chances increase more. And if you're Gene Simmons or Keith Richards, then your chances become 100% because you've already done it. The point is, never ask what your chances of success are. Only ask what you have to do to increase your odds. Entrepreneurship, personal growth, game development, and yes, villainy can all be lonely roads to walk. That's one of the reasons why I enjoy the night, because it offers real solitude. Francis Bacon once said that whosoever is delighted in solitude is either a wild beast or a god. Either way works for me. Self-affirmations or auto-suggestion is one of the easiest ways to improve your state of mind. By repeating the same things to yourself over and over, you bypass your conscious mind and implant the ideas into your subconscious where much of the important stuff really takes place. A classic example of this is saying every morning and every night, day by day, in every way, I become better and better. By repeating this as your personal mantra, you will eventually believe it.